Hey everyone, so we're at the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum in Virginia. As you can see behind me, lots of planes and such to see. So we're going to go ahead and give you guys a little clips, show you guys what's in here. Alright, so here's a P-40E. Pretty cool. There's a little information here if you guys want to pause the screen, maybe read it. You can do that on the following ones as well. I flew one of these, not, not a real one, an RC one. Can't get the best angles on it here other than the front, but pretty cool looking. All right, now we got this Vought F4U 1D. Hanging up here on the ceiling, really cool looking. Everyone in the RC world's flown one of these at least once. All right guys, came across this pretty cool thing. It's a mid-70s uh, remotely controlled little aircraft to test uh, test out flight characteristics and such. It's pretty neat looking. Alright, here's a UH-34D Sea Force helicopter. Pretty cool how it bends its propellers down there for storage. Might be a, you know, for, I don't know where they keep it, either just in the hangar on an aircraft carrier maybe. Then we have this uh, Bell UH Huey. Uh, I think it's a Huey. No, it's a oh, Iroquois, it says on the sign there. I'll get a picture of the sign when I get down there. It's a UH-1H. Never seen this jet yet, uh, at least when I've been like looking at my RC stuff. This it says is an F-105D. Looks like it carries a good amount of uh, artillery there. Also on the wing, a big bomb. Have to look into that for RC. No, it's, here's a pretty cool jet. The air actually gets sucked in the front of it, I said. Uh, I mean, we're gonna go look at the sign in a second. Just trying to see if we could see through here by chance. No. Looks like some type of bomber here. Not sure what this is yet. Take a look at the sign. Looks like it's an F 100D. And we got a SB 2C5 Hull Driver here. Has a slight similar look to a Corsair without the bent wings and such. Alright, alright guys, so this is pretty cool. This plane is a vertical takeoff plane. Look at, head down here at the little picture, you can see the engines pointing down. You get the information here if you want to pause again. But it's pretty cool because they show the engine over here. And this is the engine, it's humongous, it's like the size of the plane. So they can't take off straight down. They still have some go through, but they can manage straight down. You can see here in the back, the that was the vertical takeoff in the back of the plane. and. One here. They swivel and they turn. turn. Looks like there so might be something out the side there too, but that's a very big engine. If you can see the plane behind it, it's like the whole whole size of the plane. We got a F-14D Tomcat. Go ahead and show you the sign again. Sixty-two feet long, yeah. All right, for the next couple, we're just gonna walk. We got a RF-8G Crusader by Vought here. Kind of cool how the wings tip up here. You got some inside. Here's a uh, Gunman A6E Intruder. Looks 
It's like it has a nose. Some special missile information. Here is a pilot's flight suit from the Gulf War, 1991. There's a Lockheed T-33A shooting star. And then we have F-86A Sabre. And lots of people actually have these in RC. Similar things to this as well. It's got a uh, airflow through the center of it as we'll see when we get to the front. Not sure if there's just two of them here or if this next one is something different. Looks like it might just be the same plane but slightly different. We got a funny looking helicopter back there we might take a look at. This is a SR-71 pressure suit I guess they say. It's built so they can survive in the Blackbird SR-71 at such high heights and speeds. Get the information down here. All right, well this thing is the biggest thing in here that I've seen so far. It might be something bigger, but this is the Lockheed Blackbird SR-71. And it's huge when we get around to the side of this. It's SR-71A. And as we get to the side of this here, I'll go ahead and show you if I just walk back. This is how big it is compared to most of the other planes in here and jets in here. It's humongous. See the planes in the air and stuff over it that barely compare. I have an RC model of this, unbuilt, a kit, a foam kit I haven't built yet. I got it years ago and I'm just saving it to build one day. It's pretty cool to see it in person. Not sure what exactly plane this is because it's on the ceiling, but it is an old glider. All wooden. Looks like it's covered in some film on the wings. Looks like an olden day glider. Someone pulls you up and then you fly around. Little uh, window there for the pilot it looks like. I don't know if I'd want to be in there. Oh, I saw this. This is pretty insane. It's called the Northrop N1M, and here's the info to it. And it, you know what? I've had lots of uh, Delta wings and such planes. This is a little dual prop plane, and it's pretty neat. It doesn't say the max speed or anything I don't see on there, but pretty interesting little thing. And here we got some crazy looking seaplane. I got it. Prop in the front, all funny. And then you can see that's. It looks like a banana boat. That's very interesting. A biplane, seaplane. And this is the. If I say these right, Loaning OA1A San Francisco. Never seen this thing before, but that is pretty neat. 125 miles an hour. Yeah, I mean, for an old plane like that, that's pretty pretty much probably as fast as something like this would go. Pretty cool though. Here's a uh, Vought Scosorci XR4C, but kind of cool. You can see on inside everything here. Here is the Wright 1908 Fort Meyer Flyer. 1908, that's pretty cool. Single engine, one of the first probably planes. I guess it's not really a glider, it's more just one of the first style planes they had. It's called a military flyer. 
Got two motors or two levers? Yeah. Two levers just to go up and down. You see on the seat over there? Yeah, there's there's uh, elevator and rudder probably. There's, I don't see any ailerons on here, so it's just the elevator and rudder here to control. Little rudder there, very tiny little rudder in there. It looks like well, that's pretty neat. It's hard to see being just all white here, but here it looks like a little sporty racing biplane. Pretty neat. This thing's tiny. I mean, it, it's literally tiny. Like Sid, come here and stand oh. by this plane for a second. Like it's 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 tiny, tiny. And look at the Boeing behind it. <laughs> Go ahead and show you guys the info here. Look at that one. Little racer plane. Oh yeah, there's one more on the left here I'll show you too. This one was cool because it's a little biplane. You don't, don't see that very often. And we got this little guy over here. Little racing planes. Pylon racers, I guess. So you get the person goes in there? Yeah, person, person goes on the top there and it's barely big enough. It looks like the top, are they sticking their head out of the top? It looks like the head, there's like a head <laughs> hole in there. <laughs> I don't know how fast you want to be going with yeah, that. Yeah, it is. It says it on. <laughs> yeah. You can see the. You can see the helmet around here. Yeah, that'd be an interesting way to fly. Windy, I would think. Here's a B29. Can't get this whole thing. It's humongous. I need to get one of these in RC. They're pretty cool. Four prop bombers. Super fortress. I think a B-29 or it was a B-17 is what my grandpa was on during World War II. Sukhoi, this one's cool. Uh, little Sukhoi was one of my first 4-channel RC planes, a little micro by Parkzone, I believe. This is the Sukhoi SU-26M, which was the exact same model of RC I had. Pretty neat. I'm sure tons of people have had Sukhois. And uh, I got the new larger Sukhoi by Parkzone. Still got to get that in the air. Maybe it's by E-Flight. But pretty neat. I've never seen one in person. Never knew really how exactly big they were in person. Not all that large. The Boeing's behind it, as you can see. The Curtis JN4D Jenny. Kind of like classic war biplane look. Kind of what you think of if you're thinking of that. Pretty neat. Oh, no, no, no. All right, well, here we have the Sky Baby. I'll show you guys the sign here. <clears throat> you guys are good. <laughs> That's the info if you guys want to pause. But I've never seen anything like this. I don't even know how this can aerodynamically fly. Like, what? It, the, no, the wings are not, like, folded out or anything. That's it. I don't know how that's even possible. Pretty neat. Here's another old one. Belanca CF. High wing monoplane. And it is, looks like almost all wooden built. This is pretty cool over here, a helicopter plane kind of combined. Looks like it's called the XV-15 by Bell Helicopter Textron, NASA Army. And those props go down and or up, take off and land straight up and down or go forward. Pretty sweet. All right, walking up to this thing, it looks insane. Look at those two uh, prop heads there. Really weird angles on that. Here's what the copter looks like. Interesting helicopter there. Never seen one like that either. It's the uh, Carmen K225. Looks like you can have one pilot and two passengers. And then let's look at this little guy over here. Not sure, this is a little one passenger crazy thing. And it is the Rotor Cycle. Rotor Cycle, yeah. Look at how it looks. Crazy.
Here's a 747 engine. As you can see, some people over there, how massive this engine is. Looks like uh, some info on here. Alright guys, a few things on the ceiling. I'm not sure what they all are, but these things are crazy little one man This one, the one which you took just Copters and such, yeah? What? This one probably looks like ski plane or something. Right? Oh yeah, it looks like this one you would land on snow. snow or ice somewhere, yeah. And it also has wheels there that pop down as well. So that's pretty cool. Alright, we had to find at least one auto gyro here. And we got your plane helicopter mix here with your props on the front and your blades on the top. Fold down for storage. Pretty neat things. This is the uh, Colette, if I'm saying that right, XO60. And you can see kind of how they fly. They fly in like a high alpha. The engine is only here, there's no engine up here. This just creates the lift. Right, here is a Bucher Jingermeister, if I'm saying that right. And this is from the 1930s and 40s, an airbag plane. Well, they had to find a nice flat place, otherwise it was free. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> then we have this uh, weird looking thing, wheels going on the side up there. Of course they come down. I guess that one, yep, that one looks like this uh, G22. Everyone in the RC world or plane world probably knows this one. J3 Cub here. Lots of people learn on planes like this. Here we have an F6F3 Hellcat, and I actually, when I first saw it, I thought it was the F4F uh, Hellcat. It looks just like my RC one I have. I believe that was the name of the one I had. This said it was the F6F, I believe. I'll show you the guys the info in a second. Looks like we're in the old wooden plane section. Just show you guys some from up here so you can see some of the cool things. I guess right down in here is where someone sits somehow in this little um, inner on top or in that little basket, I'm assuming. Here we have some biplanes here. Old Warbird type biplanes, German one. Uh, I'm not sure what country that is. It's an interesting seat as well with whatever that is on top. There we got the Discovery shuttle. Uh, here we got a mobile quarantine facility. After astronauts get back from space, they were quarantined for a while, so you know any crazy stuff in space that we didn't know about wouldn't get into the Earth, into the Earth basically. So they'd quarantine after astronauts once they got home. And a little thing like this, it's basically a basically a trailer. Can't really see too much inside, but I can see there's a couple seats in there, a little table, and uh, they'd be quarantined for a while. Have all their stuff. It's basically like a little trailer. Pretty neat. 